Welcome, today we're gonna make healthy brownies. Yes, just love those two words together. But I'm also gonna show you six ways to make them even healthier. Yes, who, who doesn't like better being best, exactly. Hi, I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and it's always my joy to serve you guys recipe for excellent health. And one ingredient is that in that recipe is that God loves you. And you can take that ingredient with you everywhere you go, because it's the truth. So I hope you like this video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, how did you like the brownies? Did you try them yourself? What did you put in it to make it even healthier? And hey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so we can notify you every time we have new videos. Today I'm using just regular hard white wheat. You could use any flour whatsoever. You could use spelt, kamut. You could even use some gluten-free flours if you want to. It's always best, if you are familiar with cooking, to go ahead and mix all of your dry ingredients first. Make sure they're stirred up really well. You could easily do this by hand in a bowl. You don't have to use the Bosch mixer. So now I've added the flour, the salt, and the baking soda. I am making a recipe called Surprise Brownies. I'll show you right here. They are in the Healthy Treasures cookbook, so I hope you already have this cookbook. If not, I'll put a link to it down below. You can grab it on Amazon very simply. And it's on page 228. So if you can see this, there's actually the recipe, and then there's a lot of white space down below where you can add some of the notes of what I'm going to teach you today. So, Surprise Brownies is the name. Healthy Brownies is what they are. Okay, so let me go ahead and mix up the dry ingredients. If you're new to cooking, you always wanna, <laughs> you can kind of see a little dust. You always wanna mix the baking soda and the salt and the flour together separately so they get very well incorporated. To this, I'm gonna go ahead and add our sweetener. Now the cookbook calls for sucanat, and that stands for sugar cane natural. At the time I wrote the cookbook, it was very easy to find. Now it's very confusing to find. So what you're looking for is just the healthiest sweetener for you and your family. Sucanat is a very low processed, straight from the sugar cane. Now there's other products out there calling themselves sucanat, so it's kind of confusing. So today I'm actually using Swerve, which is a non-calorie sweetener. I'm not gonna tell my family though, I'm gonna see how much they like it. Okay, so I added the sweetener in because it's a dry ingredient. I'm also gonna add the cocoa powder. I'll put a link to the cocoa powder that I use because there are certain ones that are better than others. Now before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this mixer. This is a very high powered mixer and I've done cooking classes in churches and different businesses <laughs> with my mixer without the lid on. Highly don't recommend it. Now, if I was doing this in two different bowls, which you might've been taught you know, at different times in your cooking career, I would then have my wet ingredients in another bowl. But I'm gonna go ahead and add my wet ingredients, starting with the egg. I'm going to add to that the yogurt. And I'm using a Greek yogurt today, so it's a little bit thicker. I could use kefir. I could use a regular yogurt. The thing is with yogurt, I want unflavored, and I'm okay if it has a fat in it because I don't need non-fat for cooking. I want my brain to have the fat that it needs. To this, I'm adding the vanilla. Never buy artificial imitation vanilla. We want real food to feed a real body, okay? Then I have my applesauce. It's actually the applesauce that I make personally. All right, and then, I'm gonna say these next two ingredients. I'm gonna mix this up first. Okay, here you can see we're mixing it up and it looks delicious already. All right, now that we've mixed that up, we got it nice and creamy. This is where it gets fun. I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of shredded zucchini. Now you may say, Annette, there's some orange in there. Well, I do tend to shred my vegetables together, so I separated them out just so you could see the measurements. So I'm adding one cup of shredded carrots with two cups of shredded zucchini. We will mix that up. Super simple. We don't wanna over mix brownie mix. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in there. I had it fairly melted, but then the coolness of the room 
kind of solidified it a little bit and that happens and it's quite okay. Mix that in. Okay, now we're going to add in the extras. So to this, I'm going to go ahead and add some protein powder. This is a chickpea protein powder, so it just has a delicious creamy flavor. It's also chocolate flavored, so it's going to contribute to our brownie flavor. Stir that in. Just wipe that down a little bit. I don't want to miss any of that protein. So now I'm increasing the protein count of this dish. Now, we've got some other fun things I want to add as well. So we just added the protein powder, like I said, the chickpea protein. I'll put a link to this down below. This is by far my favorite protein powder of all time. So I'm excited about that. Now we can add some dates. We already have applesauce and we have Swerve as our sweetener, but I can still add a little bit of dates just because it's gonna add a little bit of a natural flavor and it adds fiber plus a boatload of nutrition. So I'm gonna add some dates. Here I have some dehydrated, I'm gonna put in a tablespoon, some dehydrated kale and there's also a mix of dehydrated um, red lettuce. So I'm gonna mix that in. One tablespoon dried is actually equivalent to a cup of fresh. So you may say, if I put a cup of vegetables in there, you may say, Nat, your family's not gonna like that. I agree, but when it's dehydrated, they don't recognize it as quickly. <laughs> so now to this, I could also add some chia seeds. I could add a teaspoon or a tablespoon of chia seeds. And just as a fun twist, I could add some cinnamon, just a sprinkle of cinnamon. Now I can add, I've got some dried cherries. I'm just gonna add a few of those right there. And I've got some coconut. Now the coconut you should always buy unsweetened. We do not need sticky sweet coconut. I know you're thinking of a Mounds bar, which is sticky sweet, but we don't really need that in our brownies. We have plenty of really good nutrition in here. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of chocolate chips because that way, now that my husband saw me shred the vegetables, it will win him over because that way the chocolate chips override the vegetables that I put in the brownies. <coughs> all right, quick mix is all we need. We don't need to over mix brownies at all. So now, so what I've done is by adding the protein powder, by adding in the dates, by adding in the vegetables, I've increased the protein count and I've increased the fiber. Now by switching to a swerve sweetener, I've also lowered the calories. And calories are why, sugars are why we don't normally make brownies for our family. Well, I get it and I don't want you to either. So we've done several things and then we added the protein powder as well. So these are several different things that are going to make these a healthier brownie. One that I am looking forward to my family enjoying. Now, let's put it in the pan, bake it, and then see how it turns out. I'm going to lightly coat the pan with some butter so it doesn't stick. If you like to use parchment paper, make your cleanup even faster, you certainly can do that. But even if you do, you're gonna need to butter the parchment paper. So to me, I will just use the pan and save myself the parchment paper. All right, so that's ready to go. I'm gonna take the beaters out of the Bosch mixer bowl here. Okay, so let's put all of this in. So be thinking about what you would like to add into your brownie mix, or maybe just the first time, make it just as it says. So be thinking about how you wanna make your brownie mix, what you wanna add in to increase the protein, increase the fiber, or make the mix exactly as it's listed in the cookbook the first time. So you kind of got an idea, what is the base? What does it look like? How does it taste? Then you can decide what you want to add. All right, so there we have our brownie mix. And like I said, the key to brownies, good brownies, is not to over mix the batter. This is not, we're not trying to whip egg whites here. 
we are just trying to make simple brownies. All right, now, to make sure my husband and my family are excited before they even cut in, I'll just sprinkle a few chocolate chips on top. Yes, I do win my family over with chocolate chips. They will give in to a lot of things that I make if I give them a treat. <laughs> so, all right, this is ready to go in the oven and bake, and then we will see how they taste. There you go. The brownies are delicious. The prize brownies out of the Healthy Treasures cookbook, loaded with nutrition because you saw me make them. I can guarantee you they're delicious because my husband and I already tried them, which is why I can't show you the big pan. I have to just show you three pieces <laughs> because we already kind of cut into them. And I know my family is gonna be fed well because of what I put into it. So I'm not trusting my family's health to someone else or a company or a manufacturing plant. I'm in control. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you make these surprise brownies. I'd love to read your comments. What did you add? What did you like about it? But wait a minute. Now I will tell you though, the baking time in the cookbook is not enough. You may even have to double that time because they're a very moist brownie. So it takes almost double the time to bake. So if you're like, Annette, these aren't turning out done, I know. I just need to correct the cookbook and make it more than double the time to get them done. So just understand that going in and you will have a delicious brownie. They will still be a little bit gooey, a little cake-like and lo lovely, lovely delicious. All right, be sure and give it a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe and comment, you know, all of those things to help us know that we're giving you God's recipe for excellent health. Mm -hmm.